What's up guys, good morning. Uh, we're in Texas. It's not morning, it's actually like two o'clock in the afternoon. We're still in Texas. Squilliam's here and- It's four o'clock. Four o'clock, it's not that late, is it? It's like 3.40 last night. It's like two o'clock. Anyways, the time <laughs> is irrelevant. What is time? It's about, to, what is time? What I don't is know. Time? time isn't anything. It's about a storm. Uh, my dad said it was about a thunderstorm and I looked outside, like we're going out right now. And yeah, it's gonna storm, listen to it. You probably won't even hear it over the wind, but like, the thunder is like, it's pretty loud. But you can just hear it off there in the distance. There's the distance. There's the distance there. It's kind of funny, because like this end looks like it's gonna storm really bad, and then this over here just looks like a perfect blue clear sky. So right now I'm headed out uh, to upload the vlog. It's Saturday, I'm uploading the Friday vlog to catch up. Uh, hopefully I can go out and find somewhere with Wi-Fi. We're already over on the jetpack data, so I'm not gonna keep using that. Let's go in the rental car. It has this little thing. Enhance your drive, scan here. Nobody wants to use QR codes. Look at that storm. Oh, you can see all the rain. There's the like line of where it's raining at. It's not very wide. The rain span at least. Yeah, but it's, it's raining over there too. You just can't see it from here. I'm gonna try to upload the vlog at this place. It's like a barbecue, burger, hot dog sandwich place. Uh, Fantasy. <laughs> Fantasy is the name of it. But I think they have Wi-Fi, my dad said, so we're gonna see if I can upload the vlog here. <laughs> Not sure if I'm gonna like finish uploading the vlog here. It's saying 313 minutes at the moment. It's been going up and down a little bit, but it's only 1%. Sorry, it's late. That's what I'm working with right now. It's the look of disappointment. Hey. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bored are you right now? Hmm. Still 304 minutes. I think we're going somewhere else. We want somewhere else to find better Wi Fi. The hunt for good Wi Fi continues. On to the next place. Steve's Landing. I think she's that dirt. Wow. Ah, ah, wow. Put your shirt on. God. It's freaking sticky in Texas. My shirt keeps sticking to me and irritating me. <laughs> so we're at, I think, our fourth or fifth place now, trying to find Wi-Fi, like different restaurants along the peninsula we're stopping at. And this one has Wi-Fi, but it's too slow. And of course, Paul's a donkey. He bought a beer, and they have a $10 minimum. And I was like, I couldn't get the Wi-Fi. I wasn't uploading. I was like, all right, let's go. But now we're getting crab cakes. Yeah, because crab cakes made it like 10 bucks. So we get some crab cakes on Squall. Thanks, bro. Something about text. What? The labels on beer. State check is all messed up. It's all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got the vlog up. I ended up just coming back to the house, uh, turning on the hotspot on my phone, and using AT&T data. The reason I didn't do that in the first place is because it cost me 45 bucks extra on top of what I already paid for my data plan, because I went over. 45 bucks just to upload one vlog. And an extra video too, I did a 360 video uh, that I'm gonna upload on Sunday. Doing some crab fishing now, and we just found a little crab right here. He's literally right in the water. He like jumped up when I had the chicken leg out here. Or chicken neck. Watch him, he'll grab it, he's right there. Here he comes. He's got it. There he is. Oh, oh, oh. He's just, it's so low of water right here, so it's hard to pull him out. All right, he's on it. Keeps going right back to it. Crabs are so easy to trick. I don't think they care. They're just actually not fun. Ah, gosh, him. Gosh, him. Got a crab. What's up, little blue crab? I think I'm gonna take your arm because you have a pretty big one, dude. You got a lot of meat in there. Oh, somebody already took off his arm. All right, dude. You, oh, we might have caught him the other night. Probably not, but it could have been. I'm gonna leave him because you're supposed to leave one arm on him so they can fend for themselves and it'll grow back. You go back, buddy. Here, you want some of that food? No, we didn't get none of my chicken leg <laughs> or chicken neck. He's gonna keep coming back. You know it. <laughs> Set him free. He's still in it. He's stuck. Just shake it upside down. Oh, come on. There you go. Yay, you're free, little dude. Caught that little guy. He's about to fall. I'm not going to take his legs, though, because he's too small. 
not getting any meat out of him. I would Dang, that one though. That was a good leg. This is like as big. They're all like right here in this, this water right here. Yeah. Tons of them. <laughs> oh, there's probably another one right now. There are tons of them out here. Oh, oh yeah. Yep, there's one right there. I feel it. Big one. Get it ready. Get it ready. Oh, I think that's the other one. I think, yeah, that's the same guy. He keeps coming back for more. Oh my gosh. You just squirted all the muck on me. Oh. All of those holes in the ground are little crab holes. And every so often, some of them pop up. Some of them don't, but I just saw a tie walked over here and there were like little ones squirming around everywhere. There's one popped out. There's one. Oh, he ran in. <laughs> this little guy's this trying crab. to get it. He's doing a little crab dance. Bring it closer to him. <laughs> That's so me. He's like dancing. Here, you can have a bite. Oh, he grabbed that and ran. Check him out. That is a good one. That is a big one. Much bigger than all the other ones we found. Alright, I'm taking his leg off. We had literally just caught another one right before that too that was a decent size. And we threw him back because we found this one. Good morning guys, it's Sunday. Uh, about to make some breakfast. I'm cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. Uh, getting all the trash and stuff together. About to wash the dishes first. I can't, I don't like cooking if a kitchen's not clean. Uh, but I'm going to have some cantaloupe. I'm going to cut that up. Having some OJ. Little eggs. And some turkey bacon. I'm going to make a whole pack of turkey bacon. Because it's amazing. It's delicious. I actually like turkey bacon or better than regular bacon. Oh yeah, turkey bacon. I'm actually going to eat these. So cute. Cows. Yeah. They're literally right beside the road. <laughs> they're adorable. <laughs> Aww. The bigger cows and then the little baby cows look like they're supposed to be big. Like their faces look all old and mature, but they're still so little and miniature. Oh, you can see he's branded right there. He's getting 126 on him. And the brown cow does. Yeah, gray, they're branded. 348. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. We could probably go pet them. You want to? Yeah. Let's stop and pet them. Oh, okay. yeah, they're scared of us. There's a ton of them here, and there's donkeys over here, too. Oh, there's a big white. Oh, is it a bull? Come here, cows. Oh, that one's a bull. They got, both got horns. Yeah. There's a couple of them. Yeah. There. They're so pretty. There's one with white, white and black. He's got horns. I'm you guys. Come here. <laughs> Look at him. The donkeys are walking toward us. They're right there beside that one. There's, There's a ton of stuff over there. Do you know this little fence right here? They could come right through that with those horns. Like, that is nothing. That's not holding them back. Come on, Gray. Let's go. Just trying to look at all the cows. Hey, cow cows. What's up? That one's actually coming close. So we're getting ready to head to the beach. We're going to swim. I hang out for a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Let's go to the beach. That one had so much skin to grow into. <laughs> I really like being on a drive out on the beach. And it's so close to it. Like literally took us like a minute and a half to get here. And that's how close we are to the beach. <laughs> it's awesome. You know, park right here? Uh just not in the water. Yeah, my car. My dad said don't if you see any like spots of water, don't pull into those because it's deeper than you think. <laughs> I'm guessing he probably drove in one a few minutes ago. <laughs> Look a little crab. A little mini one. It's all tiny and stuff. Into the water. Ah, we actually get kind of chilly right here. Hit a cold spot. There's somebody like way out here on a kayak. If you see a little spot out there, I guess that's what it is. Some little boat or something. They're way out there. I really wish I had a kayak. It'd be so fun. Oh crap! I said the sandbar. Yeah, right here is where it gets really uh, shallow again. Right there, it drops off. It gets low. <laughs> My dad said he was here the other night and the water is like way back. You can see where the sand was going up just because of the, the tide he came in. Or I guess out rather. The tide is out. This wave's gonna get me. Ah! <laughs> Little baby waves. Come on, golf, step it up. So if you guys missed it over the weekend, I put up another uh, 360 video uh, from this beach actually. Uh, so if you guys are gonna check that out, make sure you do, or if you missed it rather, because it went up on Sunday, uh, just went live. But yeah, check it out, 360 video. You'll be able to see pretty much what you're seeing now, except you'll be able to look all around 360 degrees. It's so amazing. You can look at your phone and just like turn it around and like look wherever you want in the video. If you haven't checked a 360 video out, I'm telling you, go look at this. There's two on the vlog channel now. The skateboarding video is 360, uh, spring skate park, and then the beach video. So go check both of them out. Where are you? There he is. He's, he's I don't want him to get me. 
Aww. Aww. <laughs> He's in there. Hey. The hermit crab. He's coming out. <laughs> He's a little guy. He's like, hey now, hey now, you interrupting my day. <laughs> I was on my way to the market. I need to get back in there. <laughs> I can't remember the name of these fish, but there's like tons of fish that jump up out of the water and it looks really fun when they do it. <laughs> like they just, they're swimming fast enough to be able to shoot themselves up out of the water and then they like land on their back. There's one right there. All right, let's see if we can catch it. I'm not even like pointing it right. <laughs> there we go, oh, I don't even know if I'm <laughs> catching them. All right, there's that guy. They're like out here. There he goes, oh, did you see that? <laughs> It jumps up and then it's like splashes again. Storm clouds are rolling in. There's lots of thunder going on. So I think we're gonna call it a day before we get struck by lightning. <laughs> Pretty much set in the water. Got sand all over my shorts. Your hair looks really cute. I had to get it in the salt water. I washed wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner and it was getting on herbs. I need some texture to it. I have some feel, some salty sand. Salty sand. I really want to stay and watch the lightning, but at the same time, you know, living. Living is better, and yeah, everything's so flat, you can see everything. But I wanted to show you guys the cute little heart I drew in the sand. Because that's what I do whenever I come to the beach. <laughs> so check this out, we just found out there is a private beach. Uh, not really much of a beach, but it's a little beach. Uh, or like, we're literally right near where we're staying. Like our place is like right over there. Here's the private beach. We get a walk to it. We're gonna do some fishing there. The woman, there's like a bay shop near us, and the woman is telling us this is a good spot to fish from. Yuck. Lovely, lovely we bought like a whole bag of uh, shrimp. Look at that. Look at all them dead shrimp in there. Dang it, bag. Come on, work with me here. Look at them. Whatever. I can't show you. <laughs> yeah, we got a little beach. There it is. I guess where the storm hit a while back ago, all this like, all the docks and stuff are messed up here. I'm surprised they didn't like destroy all that stuff. It's pretty dangerous. If you walk out on this stuff, all that stuff is like going to break. Catch some dinner. Every fish we've caught, except for like, I think one, which we didn't really know what it was then, has been a hardhead, which is like a type of catfish around here, and you can't eat them. I guess you can't eat them. She said they taste like dirt or mud or whatever. But there's another type of catfish you can catch here that's actually really good. A few other fish too. There's lots of stuff out there, obviously, but she was like telling us that the different fish we could eat would be good. We'll probably catch out here. I like this because it's not sand, it's shells. Sand, that's my favorite, least favorite. No, I'm saying like sand gets everywhere. Shells don't get everywhere. That's my least favorite part about the beach. You go to the beach and you have sand everywhere. It gets in the crevices and cracks, butt cracks, ears, everywhere. It's just sitting right beside me. I just found it. It's like a little vertebrae of something. Neck bone. Tons of glass in this shore too. Like you see, like I, it seems Wait. like I found this piece of glass like 15 times already. Is on it? different beaches. It looks exactly like it. Yeah, sand glass where lightning hits or it's like just glass from where all the homes got destroyed and stuff, thrown out in the water. Or people being buttheads and littering. He's gave up on fishing. We haven't caught anything. He's threw it out a ton of times, but like the bait is instantly going like right when you throw it out there. It's probably a crab's eating it all. No fish here. Which is funny because we were literally fishing right over there. There's fish here. It's just I mean, saying we're not catching anything. <laughs> we were fishing right over here, and you could throw it out, and within two minutes, you had a bite, reeling something in. Not this spot. Not the beach. I don't want crabs. You don't? They're itchy, man. Another hardhead. Can't eat those. Unless you want to eat mud. See, we were at the beach fishing, and we weren't catching nothing. Then we throw it out here, and we catch these, like, instantly. Wait, is that not the one with the big fin? That is a cell top. Yeah, it is. Because it has a bigger fin on it. That's what she was telling us. Yeah. You're sure it's on? Yeah. It's okay. We can't eat it. Huh? If that's that, we can eat it then. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to eat it. It's going to taste like mud. Actually, she said those won't even spike you or anything. Uh, that freaking sand spur just put my finger in too well, though. Ow. <laughs> you want it? It's little. That's freaking... Perfect inside, dude. Really? Little fishy, do you want us to eat you? You want to keep living or do you want to eat, do you want us to eat you? I'll let you make a decision on that. If you want to keep them, keep them. If you want to throw them back, you got to throw them back. Uh, I've never even seen you touch a fish. Boop. <laughs> let him live. Because we had to skin him, right? If we find one with scales on him, then we can eat that. 
because we don't have the, we're not prepared to skin a fish right now. Ugh. Good job, that one. <laughs> there you go, dude. Right into that <laughs> Swear, he literally just threw that fish in and I just started recording a second later. And he's already got another one. <laughs> Rod's bending. Hey. <laughs> What's that? The gaff top. Silly little kitty. Kitty. Are you stalking me? <laughs> get, get it. I get you. I get you. She's so cute. Her eyes are what makes her so cute. She's got like a big head and tiny little eyes. Oh, <laughs> He's so cute. Call this little guy in the net. Ned, <laughs> I pulled him in. What are you talking about? Oh, her. He was just like, we seen, him, life. we seen him right, uh, like right here in the water. And I just like sco scooped the net in. Pulled him up. Look how her mouth is shaped. Got a little... He's going to use him as bait. Sorry, little dude. I think he's hurt though, because he was swimming like really slowly, and he just like let me catch him in the water. So I think he's—I don't think he's got much longer anyway. Now he doesn't. Squall just killed him, freaking shoving a hook through his eye. It'd be alright. There's an old saying from North Carolina. It's called "Be alright." Be alright. Be alright. All right. Crab update. So we've been catching crabs too all day. We actually have a good bit of crabs. Check this out. They're all, they're all in this bag. Yeah, but that's that's a good bit of crabs. We're just sitting out here catching some. Look at them, all in that bag. There's a big one down in there too. We about to cook you guys up. The other day I seen a comment, uh, and some of you guys were saying that the crabs we were catching, these are blue crab. You can actually cook the whole things, which I personally feel bad. I know I've eaten like crab likes tons of times, but you can cook these crabs whole, and they cook them while they're alive. Like they, apparently you throw them in the water and they scream. Squall says he's gonna do it. I'm not condoning killing these crabs, but I have helped catch, a, catch them. And I'm definitely gonna eat some. Belly. I'm gonna eat some. I'm gonna eat them, but you're going. Why was I not videoing that? <laughs> he just tripped. <laughs> I'm eating them, but I, I still feel bad killing them. You're gonna eat them. They're gonna nourish your body. But yeah, you feel bad. Yeah, because I can go in there and eat pizza right now if I need to. <laughs> you crab pizza? No. Nah. I haven't either. Sounds delicious. <laughs> oh, dude. oh, that one is big. That's one I caught. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. There's her little guys. There's mine. He attacked my camera. That was mine. It was on my line. Who you just reeled it? it in. Me and Boo caught it. Because I wasn't outside. He won't get your finger. Let him get your finger. <laughs> no, they won't let go. I'm telling you. Don't torment him. <laughs> He's already about to be eaten alive. What tormenting him? That's mean. Grab on, bro. Grab on, bro. Grab on. Grab on, brother. Grab on with everybody. Man, he's gonna hurt the little one. <laughs> everybody grab on! Bah. <laughs> I think they're just getting tired of you. They're like, uh, you, you're not doing anything. <laughs> Mm, don't kill them. <laughs> I want to eat them, but I don't want them to die. Oh, they're little crabs. They're cool. No, don't. Oh my god, I feel terrible. Which one did you put in there? You just killed a crab, Squall. He's dead. I am going to smack no, some man. Really yeah, he's still hurt. No, he's, he's done. He's still in pain. Man. He's thriving. He's so messed up, man. Uh, He's thriving in that water, man. He's fine. Yeah, but you can go to everybody. Let's everybody, get him out. Get him out. Everybody will go to grow Joe's Crab Shack and eat 50 crab legs. Oh, no. <laughs> you feel about doing it, but. He, he, turned, he turned red immediately. Yeah. I never cooked a crab before. He didn't scream, Gray. He just died instantly, it looked like. <laughs> I know it didn't die. Okay, if you were put, dropped in a boiling hot pot of water, hot, hot water, do you think you instantly died? No, that shit takes a while. And then no, he died pretty quickly. He, that was pretty quick death. Yeah. I could tell. He stopped moving. He might still be alive. Just his nerves are completely burnt. 
And inside, his little soul is still going on. And it'll, in a few minutes, he'll be gone. Don't kill him. Where are the blue crabs rock come from? Man. Oh my god. You can eat inside the shells. Okay, the shell and there's meat in there. They're done. These are like dirty crabs though. They have like dirt on them after cooking them. Ah, oh, that's delicious. <laughs> I was like, oh god, it's nasty. Doesn't taste like dirt or sand. It tastes like freaking fabulous. Really? Uh, we got the big one in there now. It might have a little bit of grit in it, but... Oh, that's not gonna hurt. Just some oil from the Gulf. <laughs> oh my god, when you stuck the net down the water, you can see... Uh, yeah, you can see the oil just like... It's really mud, but it's it's oily mud. <laughs> crab. From the water out there. Let's try it. Oh yeah, look at that crab meat. It looks like dark there, right? Alright. Just put it I know it's gonna taste good, but like... I don't remember crab meat having like a dark color to it. Like look at it, see how it's a little like colored? Is it supposed to look like that? I know that it normally looks like that color. Is that big delver in there? I'm gonna try it. There's definitely yeah. grittiness to that though. A little bit, a little bit of grittiness, but this makes why is that one cold? It's good. Because it was in there a bit a few months ago. I just feel like, look, you remember crab meat having like a dark stuff in it like that? Right? He just eats it. Okay, that's right. You sure? Because they got some dirt on the outside. Of them. Like, look at this crab right here. That could be some it's oil. It's got dirt. Might be right some, on it. Might be some oil from the Gulf of Mexico. And seriously, maybe. That's what I'm saying. We might be eating oil. I ain't trying to eat oil. BP, oil. BP spill still flowing. Oil. Uh, it's a so freaking <laughs> southern. It's hard for me to not. That's one word that I say super southern. Oil. 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 I Tyler, what? I heard you say you had to get new tars for your car. That went everywhere. You just hit. I him. did not say tars. We're not killing that fourth one. This is oh, enough crap. He's laying there dead. Like, no, he's not. He's still chilling. He's like this over here, full of water. No, he's still over. chilling. Let's see he's alive. He's alive. Uh, they're good, but I just I feel like I shouldn't be eating it because the the oil spills in the Gulf and all the trash too it's like look at all the trash is out there I'm letting this guy go like he's got one leg left because we may have caught him another day or just he lost a leg he doesn't have much meat in the thing dude chill no don't, don't don't fight with me I'm saving your life in a second uh, we cooked the first three the big ones uh, in the pot now so I think I'm gonna let him go we got plenty of crab meat here <laughs> squall I'm letting the little guy go one little claw and it's thin like this <laughs> This is a view from a crab. This is a view from for a crab going in a boiling pot. <laughs> oh, it's there. Yes, it looks like somebody got killed on this door. Here you go, dude. Back to your home. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm here again? I didn't think I'd make it. He's been out all day. What hanging out with there you go, the vlog had a happy ending. I saved a crab's life after we killed three of them. Or, not me, Squall did. It was all him. <laughs> I just ate some of them. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's vlog, click the like button down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel right there if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, we post them Monday through Friday. So, click that subscribe button so you don't miss them. And, uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Peace. They've got feelings too, Ray. You can kill it. You can't kill a crab. Little thing that causes me many, many, many oh, look how many big it is. Shit balls. It is huge. Like the size of my thumb. Like, like look. Like, Gray was like, oh my god, it's big. I was like, no, Gray, that's an eagle mosquito. No, it's not. That's a regular mosquito. I look close. There is the biggest mosquito I've ever seen. It's probably a mosquito hawk. No, it is not. That's what I said. It's not. Where's it at? Where's it at? Is it flying? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs>